while we're in Campbelltown, we're making use of um, the local facilities. So um, I've currently got my washing in at the laundrette and uh, I completely forgot about soap powder. Did you far to go to get your um, washing powder? No, 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 just to the uh, local Tesco, so... Oh, I, wonder, uh, I wonder where that is. It's not very far at all, so... We had a boat shower today because the showers aren't open just yet. I suspect they will be open later on in the season. But I had a boat shower and it's still a wee bit choppy out to sea, which is why we're still in. But, but um, the weather's been so bad that uh, even the Navy ships uh, were staying in. Uh, but now they have at least gone out. Well, Beverly and I have uh, decided to uh, just come around the corner from the uh, harbour uh, to the Ardshiel Hotel because it has got 500 whiskies on display um, out of its stock of 2,500 whiskies. So that is an awful lot of whiskies to have. So if you are a whiskey drinker, I would really recommend this place. If you're in Campbelltown. If you're in Campbelltown. But um, just having that number of whiskies to have a look at and try and... So then, what are we actually drinking? Uh, Beverly has ordered the uh, Macallan um, 12. There's some for me. Oh. Which is uh, quite a nice smooth uh, whiskey, uh, to be truthful. Uh, whereas I've gone for the uh, Spring Bank uh, 15, which is a, a local whiskey to um, Campbelltown. And um, this one, I've got some water in it and it's still producing an awful lot of kick. Oh yeah! <laughs> Definitely some kick in that one. What should we do with the drunken sailors? No, we're only keeping it to the one, so we're not getting too drunk. But oh, we won't need much for me and Bev. The next day, we decided to anchor in Campbelltown Loch. When we got there, it finally registered on us that the wind was not in our favour, so we went back to the marina for another night. Either the right side of it or straight down the channel. Yeah. And we were in time to see a harbour sale. We left the next day dodging more seals and commercial traffic. Beverly, why are we passing this boat on the wrong side? Because he asked us to. Um, there's deeper water on this side that we can easily go into, but he wants to stay in the main channel and he's a larger boat, so we have more options than he has. So we're a bit more maneuverable, so we're doing the moving. So I've spoke to him on the radio, I've picked him up on RAIS, I've spoke to him on the radio and he's asked us to pass Greenside to Greenside. Since the green side of the yacht is starboard, that means we're passing starboard to starboard instead of the usual passing port side to port side. But he seems happy, he's over there a couple of hundred yards. He's got to get into his wake when he goes past because it's going to be a bit bumpy. Well, then there was more wildlife. I heard him! Slow day, however, we just seen a pod of doll porpoises. Oh, doll porpoises, <laughs> they were porpoises, they were porpoises, they were too small, but they were still great to see. And I just hope to goodness we've got them on camera for you guys. 
It certainly won't be for lack of trying, will it? <laughs> we did laser trying, but uh, the problem with the camera is you pointed it at one place and the adult porpoise comes up another. It's sort of the marine version of whack-a-mole, whack-a-porpoise. <laughs> Basically, yeah. But yeah, yeah it's, um, we haven't got the sails up. We haven't even got the engine um, doing anything particularly much. And we're just sort of like toodling, I would say. This is, is a toodle. We've got one nod of wind. Oh, really speedy Gonzales. <laughs> Okay, drop seven meters. Right, let it all the way to 30. It should pay out in front of you. We should be going backwards. We are going backwards. Right. Better right to 30. 20 meters. Right. 25 meters. Right. It's lifting now. Right, well then you can let some more out. So he fires at the top of the roller, I'm gonna put the snubber on. All right, we're still in reverse gear. Okay, well I'm just gonna put the snubber on now. Right, I'll put the snubber on. Right, we appear to be completely stationary from what I can see. Right, well I'm gonna drop the it now a bit more. All right. Right, okay, the snobber is just at the top of the water. Snubbing off. And now I'm going to drop some more. Right. Get a wee loop of chain on it, yeah? Yeah. Well, I think Bev, my um, anchoring needs to have a bit more practice, which uh, hopefully we'll get over the next few days. But I have to say, we've picked a really cracking spot uh, just to put the hook down. And uh, sometimes I look at it like this. Wherever I drop my hook, that's my home. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, Somewhere down there, my anchor is snubbed, so I'm very happy about that. The anchor ball is up, so happy days with that. But the thing I'm most proud about is back there, you can actually see that my canvas, <laughs> my canvas work is up. Well, we've... Um... We've left Campbelltown and um, we have come up uh, Kilbrannan Sound and we are now in an anchorage called Carradale which is a bit of a fair weather anchorage uh, but we've got fair weather so that's all well and good but you know it's a nice enough looking place um, pretty well sheltered the wind is coming over my back from that rock wall behind me and um, so we're just going to anchor here for the night and relax and then tomorrow or the next day we'll move on just depending on the weather but yeah we've gone from storms to no wind <laughs> there's all sorts of crazy stuff happening around here but we're having a great time and that's the important thing going in uh, Kilbrannan Sound. Yesterday we had zero knots of wind so we were definitely going nowhere apart from under engine. Today we have a staggering six knots of wind and we're going at 4.5 knots so... <laughs> so of that six knots of wind four and a half hours? <laughs> Basically yeah. We did try putting the, the sails up uh, but they were uh, not making any, um, with, you know, they weren't doing anything and they were just, because the, um, even though we had the preventer on, 
Um, the boom was just flogging around and it was just worrying me something wrong. to um, Loch Ranza and I had hoped to be doing an anchoring but uh, unfortunately our depth gauge has uh, decided to um, go crazy uh, so um, it's reading 37.7 meters and it's been doing so for the last what couple of miles at least and um, our depth gauge on our chart plotter is uh, reading um, either 4 million or even 42 million but anyway <laughs> something is awry and when it comes to anchoring you really really do need a depth gauge uh, so what we've decided to do is for tonight we're going to go onto a mooring ball and it's just something because an instrument is not telling us the information we need we're going to have to go for the mooring ball it just makes good sense to us. Well, I've got the uh, tri-data manual out um, because we were putting the tri-data into mode, test mode and I can tell you that can be quite difficult. The um, uh, difference between the immediate is really immediate. Um, but um, anyway, we're coming up with fail eight. <laughs> oh geez, it's saying fail eight. Oh well, we better go get the oscilloscope out of the workshop. Which basically saying that uh, our uh, depth gauge is wrong and then it tells me to check it with um, uh, pulses which means that I need an oscilloscope. I've uh, not got one of those handy <laughs> so we're going to find out if we can buy a tri data from somewhere because that's the, to us is the quickest fix we take one unit out and we put a new unit in. If it works, it works. Even quicker, we borrow one. We can borrow one. If we can borrow one and just see if it's the tri data, because there's no way I'm going to get an oscilloscope out on this thing. I'm at the sea. I'm at anchor. Well, I'm at moored. So we've got no way of judging our depth when anchoring. No, but we have thought of a solution, which is um, to use what old anchor. Um, um, old sailors used to do which is um, to basically drop a um, 
a, a lodestone down. A, a no, a lead line. A lead line, oh. and um, we're going to have to uh, anchor at five meters. Uh, but we're going to have to test that out. But we'll see. But we're going to find out if we can buy, get a, a borrow a tri data from somewhere. So where we end up now, I've no idea, because that's why we're on an adventure. <laughs>